your girl Jordan Sparks and you're watching Movies with Milan. Come on, B! The inevitable defeat of Mr. and Pete follows a 13-year-old Mr. whose mother gets incarcerated, leaving him and 9-year-old Pete to fend for themselves all summer long, dodging child services and numerous destructive scenarios in the blistering heat of a New York City project. Look at the ones you could do. They probably don't care about background checks. You think getting a job is going to save us? Nobody's going to help us. They never have, they never will. Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson delivers an uncanny performance as a heroin addicted mother. Reading the script, like, she was just like coming to in my head. And I'm like, my Gloria looks like this, this, this. And then I talked to the director, and he was a little scared to tell me his ideas. And he's like, I think she has all these tattoos and her hair is itchy. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I see. So she kind of like came to life for us, like hopped off the page. The thing that really attracted me to really want to tell this story is just the perspective of the movie told through the eyes of these two kids. We can't tell anybody we're on our own. Don't talk to anybody. Matter of fact, you don't talk at all. Now, these two kids never would have hung out with each other ever, and in the circumstances, brings them together without any parents, in the projects, no food, no electricity, and it's a survival movie. When's your mom coming home? They let her out of jail over a month ago. If she was coming back, she probably would have by now. I loved Alice's character because she was kind of a bright spot in the film. You know, she really wanted to help in Mr. and Pete's world where no one was helping. How long has your mom been gone? Usually they keep her for a day or two. It's been almost three weeks. As soon as mom gets out, she can take me to my audition. They did an amazing job. They're seasoned vets already, and I just, I just keep telling everybody to remember their names, Skylyn Brooks and Ethan Dizon. They were awesome. I mean, early on, they had great chemistry from the beginning. We visited all kinds of different projects where we met kids from and they showed us how their everyday life was. Being in the environment really made it great, and they took it very seriously, and I'm really proud of their performance. Be prepared to run. If housing authority catches us out here, that's a wrap. My bags and go. Um, you might not have been in the exact situation, but everybody can relate to feeling hopeless. Everybody can relate to, um, you know, fighting for something that they want. I feel like the underlying message of this entire film is friendship and not knowing that we cannot do it alone. You know, everybody, I don't need nobody, I don't need nobody. We all need somebody. And because Mr. and Pete had each other, they were able to make it. I want people to take away from this film that there are kids out there that need help. And um, we need to help them. Everybody know your mom, hope for that cat. She going to jail. It's inevitable. Inevitable, baby. Check out Mr. and Pete in theaters October 11th. <laughs>